Okay guys, welcome and guess what? We made another sector uh, today. That means that we are the third sector today. It means we have had a lot of flying today. In this here flight we will be going for from Dublin where we are currently parked. Here we have a uh, looks like uh, British Airways taking off from the completely wrong Uh, runway, but we do not have any ATC any longer. We did have ATC when we arrived in park, but he locked up off, and unfortunately, none has come back on. And uh, this guy obviously took advantage of that. Uh, real world traffic is taking off from runway from runway 28, which is this direction. So um, yeah, but uh, but looks of it actually a very quiet night in Dublin. I had expected to be a lot more activity going on on VATSIM uh, in the British Isles uh, this evening. As always we are uh, of course on VATSIM and in VR using the Oculus Rift S and X-Plane 11 flying the 737 Sibomart. And as you will see shortly here we are uh, flying the Scandinavian Airlines uh, Saga Viking livery 737 so, um, I am Scandinavian and I'm Henrik by the way and welcome to this that will be the seventh I think leg of our tour of the European Union where we have visited Ireland now and we are off back to the European continent we have crossed and we have crossed and we have gone north and south in um, the British Isles but now we are done we need one last crossing over London and then we will go in over Brussels to Luxembourg, which will be our next destination uh, in this series. Um, I do fly with failures enabled and I also fly with uh, remove surfaces and do damage to the aircraft. I can't really remember what it's called. Whenever I access G limits or over speed, I will have issues, so we better be careful. If you saw the last video, you would have uh, no doubt noticed a very dodgy landing uh, on approach. And again, it was a clear go around, no doubt about that. Um, and uh, for reasons uh, that I didn't really want to bug the ATC guy, he had a go around right before I came in. Didn't sound too happy with a go around, so we uh, decided to override rules and uh, regulations and knock the bird down on the tarmac. And we did all right, actually. So here we are, still in one piece, the aircraft is still good to fly, no damages despite the landing and approach. And we are ready to set up for our leg into Luxembourg. We do have a lot of ATC currently uh, uh, live on that sim as soon as we reach the UK. So I am eager to just get going and uh, get to that ATC. And we do also, it, it is slightly longer leg than the previous few legs we had. So it's a good thing to get going. So. Uh, Let's just jump into the cockpit. Let me get seated here. Boom. As you can see, I started the turnaround timer at our last video and we have been sitting here for one hour now. Um, haven't touched anything in the aircraft. Everything is as I left it. Uh, so what I will do is I will get my my Swift client into VR and also I will get the desktop into VR so that we have some awareness of what's going on and now it looks like Europe has locked off that's just no it's still still looking good I think don't think that yeah we do actually have Luxembourg online so that's good but we did have some more ATC further south uh, before so um, yeah we'll leave that there for now Dublin is offline First thing we'll do is that we will find our flight plan. I have filed a new flight plan on VATSIM, so that's all good. And that's wrong. That's Here we go. So we will need uh, 7.5, let's make that 8 tons of fuel. And 56.2 tons of fuel weight. That should do us 56.2, and we'll put on 8 tons. There we go. 64.2 tons, that's perfect. Okay, so 
So back to the flight plan. Also net is Amsterdam and we will need three tons of reserves. We will be cruising at 37,000 so we might as well just get that up there. And we will start setting up the FMC. Jumping straight into it just to reach that juicy ATC. So we are in Dublin, Ireland. And oops. And we will be going to Luxembourg, mainland Europe, back to the homeland. <laughs> Not the homeland, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling along. Don't mind me rambling. Don't listen to what I say. So there we go. And we'll do our route departure. And it's 2 8. Uh, Liffy, of course. Liffy 5 Alpha. Good old Liffy. Have been doing a lot of flying to Dublin, so I think I'll give it a rest now for a while. But they do have good ATC here, so worth worth flying to. So we have Quebec 3-6. Quebec 3-6. Epoxy. Glue. Isn't that the uh, glue? Epoxy glue. And uh, epoxy onto Uniform Lima 1.5. Which will bring us to big. And from big it's on to Uniform Lima 9. And then Conan with a K. And Conan to Uniform Lima 607. Oh, 07. To Remba. Remba. And then it's the Remba 3 Kilo to runway 06. Remba 3 Kilo, there we go. And we'll check the route. Looking good. Activate. And we have 3 tons reserves. Just popping it in there, no real order. Here we go. And we're going to 3.7. There we go. Onwards. The top of climb. 242 Here we go. And plus 2. So in the previous video you would notice that we had a slight uh, tailwind uh, crosswind component that really tricked us, that overspeeded us on very short final and pushed us right off the runway. So we really had to do a hard uh, compensation and uh, then do a long float to slow her down. Um, but we did manage to go down and land with the landing rate is around 200 feet. Not that the landing rate is so important. Uh, it's more important to be stabilized, to be honest. That's the, it's all about, not the landing rate. There we go. 19. And we'll do uh, 24k. I'm at bit uncertain about uh, the wind here actually. Oh, looks like we have Dublin back on. John Cockling, I have spoken to him before and he is at 1 to 1 decimal 1. So we'll just tune him. Yeah, we have him too. Yeah. There we go. So that means we can ask for a clearance actually. That's quite nice. So uh, let me just get my. Uh, Actually, let's look for the eights first and foremost. Six zero wind one three zero degree niner not variable between one zero zero and one six zero degrees 
visibility 1, 0 kilometers, clouds 2, 2,300 feet, scattered 3,000 feet, temperature 1, 9 or 2.13 QNH, 1, 0, 1, 9 or no 6, advise on initial contact you have information, bravo, this is Devlin. Information, Bravo. Bravo, at time, 1730, expect ILS approach, runway 10, then use, transition level, 60, wind, 130, degrees, 9 knots, variable between, 1. Okay, so actually he changed the runway to uh, runway 10, so we'll just uh, finish um, setting up here and we will do a change. And then we will ask for, uh, so we have 136, 137, 146. There we go. And D-step of 4.76, so we'll just pop that down. There we go. And runway 28 needs to be changed and then we will revisit our takeoff reference. So we will go here, uh, departures, and we will uh, need to uh, address this. So runway 10, Liffy to Echo. And execute. Okay. So uh, just write that for reference. Leave you to echo. And okay, the approach hello seven one two four eight and four zero two is Charlie requesting seven two no records file. So that's our first clearance uh, request for the day. Step straight ahead, Liffy. Charm 248, good evening. Clear to count with you. Exit 2 Echo departure, runway 10, initial time, 1290, support 66.4. He's speaking fast. Charm 248, stay together, next to Echo departure, runway 10, initial time, 1590, support 66.4, Charm 248. Charm 2 for 8, we write correct information. Bravo, QNH 1019, you can report ready. Okay, Charm 2 for 8. And we are a stand at 203, actually, Delta I think. Delta 324, yeah. descending on flight level 190. Delta 3024, Delta approach, good evening. Walk for me, four, four, seven, four. Squawk, four, four, seven, four. Yeah, from. Dublin approach, Scandinavian, five, one, one, at stand, two, oh, three. Uh, currently sitting with information Bravo asking for clearance to Luxembourg via Liffey to Echo departure runway one, zero. I'm ready. Scanning via flight 11, good evening, clear to Luxembourg, to the C2 Echo departure, runway 10, mission climb 590, squawk 6620. Clear to Dublin, initial climb clearance 9000, squawk 6620, Scandinavian 511. Scanning via flight 11, read back correct information, Bravo QNH 1019, report ready. Delta 3024, thanks to identify on squawk, cleared on the factory 1, Romeo arrival. Romeo 1 0, descend, file the 7 0. So that's a squawk and a clearance, all good, and I actually used up half my pad here. Anyway, we've got a clearance, that's all good, and I just want to revisit our, um, our very, very final turn here into Luxembourg, which is a 
something I need to be aware of. So we'll do like this, uh, this off, uh, but at least as long as we stay within like the two mile, two and a half mile ring, we should be fine. So we will be looking for three, yeah, let's say three, let's say 300 actually. And do a two mile. And uh, we can pop that in here. I don't know, Mayla. Good afternoon, Ryan. Four one Tango Yankee. Descend to flight level seven zero. We have information. Bravo to H one zero one nine. Runner four one Tango Yankee. Don't give the evening for four 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 seven. Give us a nice turn here. And we haven't four, really four, four, broken seven, any uh, Ryan, rules. That's how it would turn. So that's perfect. And even the missed approach is in there. So that's all good and set. I'm happy with that. Okay. So it's time to get our maps out and start boarding our passengers, I think, <laughs> even though we did remove the stairs, but there were some noises. So when we're talking to ATC, it's, uh, it's a bit hard to, to hear some at times. So, uh, airport, if there's an airport chart, we'll definitely need that. We won't need you, and we will not. On your phone, thank you, 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 We'll need to put you up so we can... Set, set our MFR rate. Seven zero one eight four one Tagiyanki. Tagiyanki from uh, number two for the approach and speed two fifty or less one. And it's just four one Tagiyanki. And it froze again on me. Keeps doing that for some reason. Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't. So I will definitely need to get out of VR and get that set. That's really bugging me, actually. But it has to be done, because we had to set our MFR rate, so just a second. Guys, the Leo's on board. There, all set. So now we can set the MFR rate at 1242. Delta 3024, turn left heading 285, entering ISP for maybe 10. Oops, I'm not heading 285, that's good enough. So just four up. Okay. So that's set. Okay, we'll just do a quick uh, safety check here. We can go away now. And bright off. There. Checking all the other switches uh, as they're supposed to. Uh, 3024, you can just send out flight level uh, 90. Uh, ground power is connected. Uh, Delta. 3024, you gave me 7-0 earlier, do you want me to maintain 9-0? Uh, yeah, maintain 9-0, I'm reaching, um... Set you to zero. You just flew off the arrival as well, so due to traffic. Up to 10 flow of 9-0. Okay, I'm going Working. So, we are at... Uh, Air forward, thank you, Yankee. Number one now, present position, we're direct to Osmec. And she just sent 3,000 feet to an H-1019. And we were cleared 9,000. And this is number one, uh, descend 3,000 feet, connect uh, 1019, I believe, and, uh, and redirect off. We need uh, to get our maps here. for headings, so... And we're following Tango Yankee here for direct to Auslex. After Auslex, we'll be right turn to right south for the island. So... Uh, that's how we'd run that for one Tango Yankee. There we go. Delta 3024, turn left now, for heading 245. Yeah, set correctly. That's looking nice, I'm happy with that. Uh, reset. And. Stowed up. Good. 
Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Crossing. Climb. Climb. Crossing. Climb. 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 Clear of conflict. Descend. Descend. So we Descend. do the test and then Descend. while he's Descend. talking and uh, showing Crossing. us images Descend. Descend. of traffic, we will... Uh... Descend. Descend now. Increase. Climb. Increase climb. Change the Increase to descent. echo. Increase Increase here descent. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. Maintain vertical speed. Well, Crossing. Maintain vertical speed. Crossing. Maintain vertical speed. Crossing. Maintain vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. TCAS. So he basically uh, uh, cleared us um, as per the chart. So straight ahead runway heading to uh, route to Dublin and at Dublin uh, we should be at 3000 uh, minimum we should, we should do a right turn uh, to 96 degrees sorry I am completely off my bearings here we are going completely opposite direction we are going straight ahead heading 099 so a slight should be a slight discrepancy from the runway heading yeah, one degree discrepancy, 099, we're not going to bother too much with that, we're just going to follow the flight director so as well as we can. And then a uh, left turn, slight left turn, uh, onto Liffey. And we'll just read here, 650 plus, and then onto Delta Whiskey 551. Three thousand plus will go to Liffey, so at three thousand we'll turn towards Liffey and uh, take it from there. Yeah. Delta three zero two okay. four, turn right now, flying two eight five. Two eight five. That's three zero two four. Descent on two three thousand feet. Two and H one zero one nine. I will actually be a bit cheeky and request a pushback so we can connect the tow truck so we can get out of here fast. Right, four one Tango Yankee, Oz, let's wait to stop here. Dial us a push from a one zero number one now. Report stop. Not we know. Sorry. Uh, okay, now. Yeah, that's runway one zero four established. Run at four one. Pre-flight oxygen tested. Navigation transfer to space, which is is auto and normal. Window heat is on. Pressure station mode selector is set to auto, and we have set the uh, cruise level 370, and we'll just uh, confirm that 370 is set. Flight instruments cross checked and correct. Parking brake is set, engine start switch is set to cut off. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. That sounds very good. So, before start, flight deck door is closed and locked. Fuel pump, we have 9 7.9 tons and pumps are on. So now we're on the APU. Disconnecting. Passenger side's on, windows are locked, MCP, we have 146098 and 9000 set. We have 136137 and 146. CDU pre flight is completed. Rotor needle trim is 3 and 0. Taxi and takeoff briefing is completed. Anti collision lights can come on as soon as we are ready to as well push and start so I do expect us to be pushing back facing south then going almost already I'm already starting to talk <laughs> to speak a bit Irish south so we'll be going on uh, hotel one or mic one um, on whiskey two I suspect and then on Sierra four turn left and correct and turn right heading zero one zero base leg Dublin approach, Scandinavian 511, request push and start. 
Scandinavian 511, push back, start up a free, QNH, QNH 1019. Pushing start up route, QNH 1019, Scandinavian 511. So, we got our clearance. So, we can turn anti collision lights on, uh, up with you, and release the parking brake. And we are seated and ready. Starting push back, and you may start engines. Thank you, and one we're one starting Yankee, two and one in sequence, uh, starting two. Winner four, one time Yankee, surface wind checks, one three zero degrees, zero nine or knots from a one zero clear to land. All right, we've got everyone strapped in. One zero clear to land, run for one time Yankee. Delta three zero two four, turn right, heading zero seven zero. Zero seven zero. Delta three zero two four, from the heading intercept, localizer, clear to ISS approach, one zero number two, before stopping. And the Indians have had some time to cool down, so it should be okay. Still monitor the EGT though. Passing 400. Looking normal. Start a cutout. Starting number one. And just checking our lights are on. All the way up there, yeah. We are going to have, I suspect, a night or dark landing, so. Fuel in. Let's shoot drop then. Delta three zero two four tank found continue approach number two, surface wind one three zero zero nine. Start the cut out, oh it's normal. Operation complete, set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting toes, stand by. And set. And one last check here. So we can do our full forward, full back, full left, center, full right, center, full right, full left. And it's looking good. Blank you and we can set flaps five and RTO. Recall checked. Generators on, probe heat is on, anti ice off, isolation values auto. Engine start, sorry, jumping here. Engine so start, switch is connected. Bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the Recalls left. Checked. We'll see you next also time. And have a safe flight. Engine start, leave us idle detent. Light controls are checked and ground equipment is clearing. Taxi checklist completed. And we will get some hand signals here and then we will. Dublin approach, Scandinavian 511, request taxi. Scandinavian 511, taxi straight ahead, link 4, hotel 1, hold short from A1634. Link 4, hotel 1, hold short, uh, runway 34, Scandinavian 511. Runner 41, Tango Yankee, uh, you're on ground sign 36, left echo 2. Left again, right. taxi up from A34. Actually, keep the lights down just a little bit, not to confuse any incoming aircraft. Wonder if I can clear all of this mess somehow. Uh, that's probably uh, up runway 34 uh, uh, by Atkins 2, uh, runner 4 1 Tango Yankee. That's a 3024 surface wind 130 degrees 09 knots from a 10 clear to land. So he basically wants me to uh, hold here, then we'll be on Visky 1 Sierra. So, easy peasy. Sherlock 248, taxi straight ahead, link to Alpha, hold short, runway 1634. Straight ahead, link to Hold short, runway 1634, Sherlock 248. Meanwhile, we can put the radars on. Link four. Preference, uh, 
Uh, negative, we'll take whatever we're given then, 4 one tango. Okay, uh, runner, 4 one tango, Yankee, 2nd right, Mike 1. So we'll be holding here be, at uh, Hotel 4. Parking stand is 124. So 2nd right, Mike 1, link 4, stand 124. Mike 1, link 4, 124. Uh, runner, 4 one tango, Yankee. So we'll uh, wait here for... Standing five one one once the runner is passed, left to right, cross 1634, whiskey 1. Right Sierra, all the way down to holding point from A10. After passing Ryanair, Whiskey 1, uh, right Sierra, all the way to uh, holding point Sierra 7, Scandinavian 511. Charlie 248, cross from A1634, right on Sierra, and uh, just continue on Sierra. Cross from A34, continue on Sierra, and Sherlock 248. A bit offensive on the speed here, I just want to get moving. Approaching, three, four. Pop all the lights on. There's a shamrock. Which we learned in the previous video is... Uh, <laughs> I think that is copyrighted by Ireland, funny enough. And they also have an, a local airline, domestic airline mostly. Uh, quite curious to hear what uh, we, who will yeah he'll be going way before us so it will be number two behind him no doubt Landing traffic. Can we make out his set? Then we'll basically just be following Mr. Shamrock here. And we'll be getting out of the end of Echo 1. What's, what's the Delta right flight? Turn Bravo 1 and Most likely. Outside. It was a Delta flight transatlantic. Charlie 248 on reaching your clear tanker, line up takeoff from A10, surface wind checks, 13030. On reaching, please line up on the top there, Charlie 248. Airport clear tanker, line up on takeoff. It's right to line up on takeoff from A10, Charlie 248. Reset our transit and we'll just uh, keep that up for a while for now. Keep it at 30 knots, no need to overspeed here. See a wind bag now, just of something concrete, other than yeah, we have a wind bag down there. I think a bit faster. So we will be cleared as soon as he is rolling. I think. Departing early to C320, enter line of the way from A10 behind. Did he address me? Then I missed it. 
Scandinavian 511, line up runway 10. Line up runway 10, Scandinavian 511. So, clear to line up. Oops, clear to line up. Runway 10, Scandinavian 511. Clear to line up. Runway 10, Scandinavian 511. Clear to line up. Runway 10, Scandinavian 511. Clear to line up. And will be cleared any second now. There's the shamrock. Airborne. On runway one zero. Looking for zero nine eight. It does nicely, so lined up waiting. Taxi check before takeoff checklist and Flaps 5, green light, stabilizers rim set 4.7 units, transponder is TARA before takeoff checklist complete and cabin is secure. All good to go. Shuttle 248, please take the cross one score 6612. 6612, shuttle 248. Confirm 6612. I hope we don't have any traffic behind us, but we are lit up as a Christmas. 248, thanks, Jennifer, under score, because Jennifer, under parachute. Return, Rex Jackson, climb flow over one. On runway 10, on runway 10. Okay, can we go now? Or maybe he wants a bit more clearance. Scandinavian 511, clear takeoff from a 10 surface wind 13009. Clear takeoff 10 Scandinavian 511. Okay, so here we go. Stand them up to 40. 023, climb 5190. 5190, And it's good enough for me. Start the timer. Boom. And uh, set takeoff thrust. Straight down headwind. D1, D1, rotate. Rotating. Positive rate. And I'll put the gear. That's wrong. Tat nineteen, very good. Delta 3024, double approach, give me again, clear to Heathrow. Next in 2 accurate departure, runway 10. Condition climb 590, walk 667. Double approach, Scandinavian 501, passing flight level 30. Delta 3024, Delta 3024, tank socks, you check, identify under departure, climb 5190, directly 50. 190, directly 50, Scandinavian 511. Okay. Green F, L F, 
and we'll just initiate you, and we will need to do some work here. Direct Leafy. Delta 3024, we back correct. Information, Charity, current, QNH 9108, report ready for some charity. There we go. Sorry for abrupt switch to automation, but one can only do so much. Need to get the flap up. Off and very cold. Passing transition now. Uh, I just need to get our map out just to. Oops, not that. Three zero two four pushing center. So we are believing him shortly. And we're in the clouds, TAT 16, let's do the after takeoff checklist. Indy bleeds are on, and packs are auto, landing gear is up and off, flaps up, no lights. After takeoff checklist completed, let's release our cabin. And passing 7. And we're above the clouds, or at least some of them. We do have a layer more. Pressurization is good. Shamrock 248 climb flight level 370. Flight level 370, Shamrock 248. What's this? Shamrock 248 report to tier level 370 for London. One, uh, three, four, crash, one, two, three, that's one, by the way. Three, level, level, one, two, three, that's one, nine, that's like seven, shot, two, four, eight. We'll ignore that warning. Can't use this one, but there's just a little, but we can empty it. Just don't want the warning to pop up on the takeoff row because we will get a master caution and it will use that up quite quickly. Delta 3024, straight ahead, Bravo, cross runway 1634, down to Sierra, all the way down to the point. Well, Luxembourg is back offline, but hopefully they will show up again. You never know. Thank you, Bravo, cross uh, Sierra. Almost at Liffy, so we'll do a turn to And we need to keep an eye out with those clouds, because our TAT is uh, not blown. There's the master caution for the center fuel tank that is empty. definitely be going through that very soon and we will be needing engine and uh, wing anti-ice actually because it's explained and it likes to ice up your wings so we will be using wing anti-ice as well. 
Das fängt hier mit ist. But it looks clear over uh, just over there. I don't know if we'll reach. Scandinavian flight one one climb flight level two seven zero. Climb two seven zero. Scandinavian five one. Scandinavian five one one report to clear level two seven zero to London one two three. That's my nine. Bye bye. We'll comply and um, bye bye. Scandinavian five one. Okay, we just need to focus on this here. Little clear. So. And there's the clouds, so high clouds. We can release the cabin as well now. Two ready straight out of the Dublin Graving, clear to Heathrow, Dexon, two echo departure, runway one zero. Yeah, that's definitely the icing out there, you can see it on the windows there. <laughs> do we do have anti ice on? Not much more we can do than that. Hey, three dogs are perfect, all correct. I think I can see the top of the. Yeah, it's the top. So we're out of the clouds now. Really big hill over there, right? Look at that. It's like a big hill. Look at the icing there, on the window. Definitely some hefty icing. Huh? It's insane. Well, we'll just leave it on for now, just because I don't trust the explain completely, and we will. F so he talked about London control at. One, two, three decimal line. Need to go the other way. Just one line, one, two, three, just one line. That's London, so that's just uh, awesome. If you're just four, one, Charlie, down to the back, drink for an island, it's a great shot, two, six, one, fly heading three, three, zero degrees. If he wants to give us ATC, fly heading three, three, zero degrees, vector two, six, five, object four, one, Charlie, down. Shamrock two, four, eight, zero, zero, chance we can take flight level three, one, zero, I don't think we're going to make three, six, zero. There's the contact me message. Yep. London Control, Scandinavian 511, passing flight level 250, inbound Alaya. Scandinavian 511, London Control, good evening, route direct, begin, Bravo and Diego, climb flight level 370. Flight level 370 and route direct, uh, please repeat. For Scandinavian 511. Begin. 
Do I have Rick Bacon? It's gonna maybe in a five or one. Okay. So he wants to Charlie 3829, remain outside control of space and we'll call you back. Are you familiar with the VRPs around Manchester? Hey, Charlie 3829, apologies, no, I'm not too familiar with the VRPs. I've just been trying to find some charts uh, for the south. Uh, to enter the control, um, so that's not my request. 370. Johnny, create two numbers. Would you just take up the left hand door, which is in your present position? I'll call you back shortly. 389, sorry, apologies. What's that heading? Johnny, create two numbers. Take the left hand door, which is in your present position, and I'll call you back. Left hand door, but no worries, good enough. And we can even land the control, Jersey 1, we will have all these done. 5, F and dash, 8, at London T. Sometimes I forget, so I actually try to Jersey rest my hand here. 5 start approved. Uh, start approved, Jersey 1, we will have that. And I'll treat 0, 1, T, send flight level 1. There you go, I'll treat 0, 1, T, send flight level 1, 8, 0. Yeah, I do, yes. This is 180, that's Jersey 1. Easy, 8, 5, 5. 10 left, please, left. Zero three zero degrees. Left zero three zero. You get five five. Yeah, I have this window a bit bigger. Seven big and five seven decent flight level seven zero. Out of one hundred for seven zero. A nice clear seven, evening seven. as we enter England again, but for the last time we're not going down here. So that was. Uh, What's a nice departure? EV855, descend to altitude 3000 feet, here in H1020. I could imagine that London area is very busy. So, uh, Charlie 3829, this uh, heading will bring us um, straight over London actually. Hey, Charlie 3829, I've seen the link, thank you very much, and head to the east and control there, thank you very much. Charlie 3829 That was a hefty cloud that we went through. 2905. KLM 892, fly heading 295. 2905, okay, let me need it. Released. Um, just checking that everything's good. Looks good. So. Comjet 41 Charlie Delta, descend to altitude 3000 feet. On to Alex. Descend 3000 feet, sir. Comjet 41. Didn't know Luxembourg was that high, actually. Speed about 7457, turn left heading 100 degrees. That's quite high. Turn left 100. 1250. Very careful back then. And Jersey 1 Limit, Papa, ready for taxi. Jersey, you want to move a couple of taxi hold short, remain 0 9 and you just want to report when you're ready for departure. Such a few high stratus clouds there. Just surfing along. That was a long shortcut, actually, just straight ahead. So. Control Golf Lima Oscar, uh, holding Bravo 1 at Gatwick, ready for departure to the south. Golf Tango Oscar Lima, correct, Golf Tango Alpha Lima Oscar, let me control. Hello, contact Alex Howard, just look up. 124, festival 225. Ah, uh, sorry about that, uh, Lima. Martin Air 6122, descent, white Comjet 4 will tell you Delta, turn left heading 290 degrees, when established on the localizer, the way 26 left, do you send on a map? It's just making the slide and small. For now, put him here, and then I want to have a look at... Um, KLM 892, descent to altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 100. So here we are, heading straight for London.
so Watson definitely needs to fix this because uh, you could confuse uh, the area of uh, responsibility. It does cover all the way up to the border to Scotland. So it's London Control actually does take all of UK. And I would imagine, look at look at these airports here, they have Stansted, Heathrow and Gatwick, it's just insane amounts of flights going in and out. 1712 Gatwick 2314 Heathrow 2314 Heathrow It's just right, one zero, zero, mad That's cool Really really awesome Go Watson 7-3 so we have at least 50 plus departures and arrivals just unfortunately we did have a control for normal fans on an area here but he locked up again hopefully he can come back of germany denmark no copenhagen sweden no. norway is off Baltic states hope this is what it looks like when I come to the Baltics, actually. Very nice to see. Just want to check the shamrock in front of us. They're going to. Nice evening. And we could uh, just get maps out. I think I'll save the geography uh, the geography less until we are uh, out of uh, control the airspace so we'll have more uh, silence to do our thing. So we will get our approach. Alright, let's see six is here. Thirteen fifty seven. Not sure we can do it or not. I can't take off there if you want to have a look. Right now, 244, London, hello, my 22 for the takeoff, wind 13, 30 degrees, 10 knots. There's stop and gone. Charlie 389 entered control, there's nice and radar control service. Charlie 389 radar control service. So we will not actually be coming over Amsterdam radar. So we will leave controlled airspace here to go in Normandy. Well, not really Normandy, but further around, but it's down here. 4,000 feet, 10 kilometers. Just one that's set. Uh, I checked the movie there and I will report the video. Eight. Delta Alpha Sierra London. Thousand ago. Almost at cruise. Delta Alpha Sierra, I told you to stand by because you didn't hear my last transmission, which means I will get back to you. It certainly doesn't mean you can take off whenever you feel like it when there was another aircraft on the runway also taking off. So vacate the runway please, take your rest of the apron, and I will call you back when that aircraft is gone. Easy eight five five runway two six click on. So I think that's the controller that we're on the other day as well. Uh, Luke. So, definitely, but it, I think you have to be really 
putting the fear of God into <laughs> to some of these people just to, and again he spends a lot of time as very professional and why shouldn't the pilots be as well that's the least you can expect but I do think people, people do, do make mistakes as well that's just what happens it's just good fun look at those clouds eh? And altitude acquired. And Jersey one again, Papa fully ready to move to the next one. Three hundred three nautical miles. So quite steep descent though. So we want uh, to revisit that. Time to get 2-4 Alpha, aim 2 Alpha, arrival, descend flight level 200. 158. Um, 2-1-2, quick and push back to the start. 1-0-9-9. And we are so com comps on in London, uh, so we can just keep that there. Three, seven, zero. Three, seven, zero, right Put some light on here. And put the seat back a little bit. Well. Uh, uh, we are uh, approximately one we do have a bit dropping of frames more than, than we left actually, but I can't really say why that's, that's the case. So the street lights a bit early and it looks a bit off actually. And then you have those squares with lights that don't load, but just have to live with that. Try not to look down. <laughs> Passing 1,700 and... Ladies weather. Speedo 7457, turn left heading 290 degrees, one established on the localizer, runway 26 left, east on the sniper. Turn left 290, Clear night in Luxembourg, and QNH 1023. Jersey 1, leave a copy, I'm now flight level 240. Climb this level 2 foot was a jersey, 1 in the top of it. Turn 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, push and start a crew face so south. Pretty much clear weather the rest of the way, by the looks of it. Yeah. We're ready to go to pool, 3 foot half, 2 and 2 and 2. Very high evening stratus, but nothing. Turn 8, 9 and 2, from my 2 2, clear the bump, surface wind 1, 2, 0 degrees, 9 knots. After landing, contact Stansted ground, 1, 2, 1, decimal 7, 2, 5. Let's land, copy wind. We landed, contact with the ground, 1, 2, 1, decimal 7, 2, 5, again. And Mr. Proche, yeah, so we're revisiting this. 2, 7, contact out with tower, 1, 2, 4, decimal 2, 2, 5, 5. So we will be turning slightly actually. Yeah. Over Brussels. Uh, just a so Brussels and then south. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Can you maybe check that last part of the city for more? So currently uh we can uh, we can put our PA as well. And, uh... Okay, all stations, all stations on the broadcast, I am now closing. So everybody on this frequency, unless you're on the ground at Stanford, one to unit complex, one to two, that's right, when we close, good evening. Well, there's uh, Birmingham below us.
And loading in the, the lighting, I think that's why we have the lag. I don't know. Will look much better once it's uh, dark, of course. But the, I think the lag spikes is due to the light, actually, it takes up. Yeah, the it's a, it's a double up on the but very nice with the, this uh, ATC following as well most of the journey or half the journey actually that's uh, quite nice so we are entering a uh, busy airspace now oh he terminated services I think Just have a look. Do not respond. So did he log off or what's the hmm. Yeah, he disappeared. And he also disappeared from the map, so we'll just... Um, yeah, I don't know what we'll do, actually. Monitor Unicom, I guess. Monitor here, make sure he doesn't... ...reappear. It is uh, prime time now, so... Closing in on London, it'll be interesting to see what the night lighting there will do to the frames. It's just do some maintenance while we are. Rings and forecast as well. So we will definitely do 35, 20, and 10. And zero zero three and one six one zero zero three. There we go, execute that. So we have 69 miles to go on the big, big one. interested in the map here. Hmm. 
You know what? That's the outside of the thing. Guess not. It's alright. So, I can just do this. But that, um, that leaves us with an opportunity. No London control. An opportunity to uh, learn something about Luxembourg. While the sun is setting, the stars are popping out. Really nice evening. Uh, an Oxford on the first officer's side. So, Luxembourg. Whoops. There we go. Luxembourg is a small European country surrounded by Belgium, France and Germany. It's mostly rural, with dense ardents, forests and nature parks in the north. Rocky Gorges and Mulatal region in the east and the Moselle River Valley in the southeast. Its capital, Luxembourg City, is farmed for its fortified... Is famed, sorry, not farmed. Famed for its fortified medieval old town perched on sheer cliffs. I have never actually even been to Luxembourg, come to think of it. There's only 590,000 people living there as of January 2017. So most likely they would have. Uh so let's see here. From my current residence, that's the travel time and travel fare. It's around 180 pounds. Official languages, French, German and Luxembourgish. Did you know that Luxembourg has the highest GDP per capita? 110,000 international dollars. Okay. Whatever, uh, international dollars? I don't know, what's that? That's US dollars and Australian dollars. Nevertheless. So, interesting things about Luxembourg. The country's name originated from Lucilienburghuk, Little Fortress Castle, bought by Siegfried, Count of the Ardennes, 963 CE, which marked the foundation of Luxembourg. Luxembourg is the only remaining Grand Duchy in the world with a Grand Duke as head of state. Didn't know that. Grand Duke Jean ruled for 36 years until his son Henri succeeded him in year 2000. The Prime Minister is the head of government. Luxembourg's current Prime Minister, Xavier Bettel, was the first gay EU leader to marry. He married his partner, Gauthier Destinay, in 2015. I actually don't know that much about Luxembourg, so it's quite cool. No, it's a small country. I don't know if it's bigger than Malta. I think Malta might be the smallest country we'll be visiting. So, here it is. Nestled in, we can look at this map as well, it's much better. Nestled in between Brussels and the Netherlands, Germany and France. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. Here's Luxembourg. And last but not least, we always listen to the national anthem of the country we're visiting. So we can play it even though we're still over England, can't we? Yeah, we'll do that. So. Here we go, the national anthem of Luxembourg called Uns Hemmert, our homeland. So we'll give that a rest for now, you can find the song if you like it somewhere else and listen to it all you want by yourself. So here we'll close this down, no need for that anymore, here's the flag, very much looks like the Dutch flag, but it is not. So 
on to the fantastic map just checking for any changes anything we need to be aware of and here we are inside some busy airspace but nothing on our our cheekas we have a lot of lag right now and I bet you that's London and Heathrow and all that scenery loading in now and with the lights and everything. So we'll just have to suffer through it until it gets spat out on the side and on the English Channel. Heading into mainland Europe and we still have a good way to track over Europe over, right over Brussels to Luxembourg. And it looks like uh, Dutch radar has terminated their services. So, um, yeah, I'm afraid we won't have any more ATC, but you never know, they might pop up. So there we go, that was Luxembourg. Now the cool thing about these, this here uh, voyage is that you tend to learn a lot. I'm uh, learning a lot about the countries we're seeing now. The recent countries we have been visiting, I have obviously know a few things about. Uh, but a country like Luxembourg, and I know where it is, and, uh, and I know it's small, and so stuff like that, but I don't really, didn't really know about the Duke and, and the National Bros project and the castle and all that, so that's, that's something new. So we're coming up to big, at long last. And we can actually just do a check here, make sure everything is still looking as we want it. So generator's good. Actually, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. You can come off now. It's been on for too long. So that's a blooper, but it's not a fatal one, so it's okay. just the thing is with X-Plane and their icing uh, so straight over London, looking down on London here. Make out the area not lighted is obviously the Thames. And right down there is uh, London City Airport. And you have the I think you can see the Ferris wheel as well, and uh, the stadiums, and the Olympic Stadium, and I don't know what it's called actually, I should have googled that, right? A nice view of, of London here. Actually, Orbex just uh, launched uh, scenery for London City. Obviously, I think it's a, it's a small airport, so it's not suited for this. Small airports are not suited for this type of aircraft. You need a small city harbor to, to do the flying in there. So come on, on big and uh, our first real turn and cruise onto uh, onto Dikku. There we go. LNAV correcting first towards big and then that's an LNAV thing and it's not really correct, right? So, 101. There we go. That's a shame that it sort of has a tendency when it's going this way, it needs to correct itself towards the waypoint before. So it makes the whole thing swing around here. Right? Could of course just fly in a heading select but I won't. There we go. And it should delete big now, it hasn't done that. Remove it from the screen please. I'm really tempted to uh, just uh, give us a uh, tune. Yeah, we'll do that. So, just.
just gives us a bit more peace. As we are heading over the English Channel soon enough. Still a to see there. LFBB, that's France, that's uh, way down here. Nice coverage down there this evening. Fortunately, that's not where we're going. We are going. So the Baltic really have nice coverage this evening. Heads off to them. So, uh, no traffic. Let's see, let's just pop that up a bit. So really calm evening and I don't expect anything special to happen weather-wise either. Take a look at the FO side. Uh, we can't see Heathrow, we can see a lot of un unloaded tiles. Unfortunately the night lights are just awful. So there's one down there coming into land. Jump back into our just need to reposition myself correctly, so if you have, it, have me excused. There we go. 42 minutes into the flight as well. Everything is proceeding nicely. So I just wanted to check up on Shut you down for now. And let's have a look in the cabin. Let's turn the night light on now in there. Nice and low. Actually, we should be able to put. Um, I've heard something about um, Avitab having some ability to, uh, to basically go into um, dun 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 dun. not there. all set so basically you should be able to uh, be able to um, bum, 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 to turn it to night mode somehow I haven't found that option so let's uh, try something let's take a short step into the can just get my wires here. Let's step out of the captain's seat for now. Traffic down below us is over there. Clearing us nicely and he's actually below and then we have one 3000 above further out as well. And at DVR we are turning to point four. Let's just step out of the chair if I can bring all my wires, that would be nice. Go into the to the jump seat. There's the cabin. I 
Let's just walk down through the aircraft. Pantry. Yeah, nothing but darkness out there now. Let's see if we can't get uh, seated here. Normally, these seats are. Actually, right. Yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to do is to. And I need to be facing the other way. Do that? I don't know. Let's try. Might just ruin everything, but we'll give it a go. So that's obviously not an interesting seat view. <laughs> and I have made some spaghetti with my wiring here. Let me just try it. I think that should do. I think I'm clear of the wires now. out there. Only thing that's a shame is that the reflection in the windows, oops, um, I don't think I will try to push here. The reflection comes from the carpet and that's a bit of a bummer. So I will just need to sort out my headphone wire which has, has become tangled. I think I got it now. There we go. Yep. So let's uh, jump out in toddler size. There's uh, another view. Let's. See, I think I can make a jump seat view as well. Yeah, like so. Almost jump seat view, yeah. Can turn the dome light off. There we go. And some traffic around us, so we'll just uh, get seated, I think, and keep our focus on that. Let's just shut the door. So here we are, I think that is uh, mainland Europe we are coming into here. Have some traffic out to our... Yeah, so we are passing, we are past the channel now. Coming in over Dunkirk. 
Uh, we have no issues with the traffic, not in anything close or anything that looks conflicting. So here's uh, Brussels. And what we'll do is uh, we'll get some plugins out again. Quite fun to take those walks though into the cabin as well. So the nice ability in virtual reality you can get up actually if you have the room you can walk all the way down. So here we are. That's all that traffic heading to the UK. And there's a Ryanair. Let's see where she is going. To Frankfurt. And still no ATC. So here we have a turn coming up. I'll just move this into the yard. And shut this down. For uh, 105. And I'll monitor the now closely see if it makes that uh, actually uh, it doesn't do it because it's right on that. Uh, it does that jerky movement if it's uh, if it's a bit off skewed by the wind, which it were earlier at big. Here we come in at cock, which is an uh, infamous waypoint. Well, for obvious reasons. Passing cock done with that. Enough fun for today, so 105 is set and turning nicely. We do have some traffic ahead of us, but below us. Uh, he's out there. It's no problem to us. So let's look at our progress. We are now 68 miles from our top of descent. So we are, we should pre preferably be descending uh, to Luxembourg as soon as well. Can decommission Compton. And um, preferably we should be descending at uh, 130 track miles. That's the rule of thumb. Now with this uh, current uh, setup we will be descending at uh, a bit closer than that actually. So, um, first of all, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, take a look at our approach. We'll do flaps 30. Uh, currently at uh, EBREF 143, we'll revisit that. And there's a top of descent coming in. Get some dome light on while we can. So he's descending into Frankfurt, I reckon. It's the Ryanair. Put in the text. Get him closer so I can check again. Nothing here that regards us. Pretty much clear skies all the way. I'll just shortly revisit the flight plan. And we will be looking for Bhopal. Yeah, so from Bhopal to Rampa we have 12, basically we have um, 
actually it doesn't look too bad so we'll leave as is for now and then we'll uh, monitor closely our speed that's the uh, most important thing so we will be going uh, going down 7000 feet um, over a range of uh, 40 50 miles so that's not that bad actually now the big the big gap here is uh, the 50 mile will go uh, go down 17000 feet the lights of europe below us Closing in on Brussels, which will uh, be the last place to land in the tour, so we will not be passing near or see Brussels before finishing. But it hasn't loaded in yet, I think. I have uh, Fardy. Was it uh, the Vatim event? Maybe it was. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the explanation. Actually, that because a lot of them were supposed to convene in Birmingham to do the Vatim event from there. So maybe they are traveling Friday and then they are giving ATC Saturday and Sunday. And that's why many of them is offline now. There's. Uh, Charles de Gaulle warning will not concern us, we're not going there. There we are Brussels, where we are going to land for our last... Uh, it will be the last place we we'll land on this tour. And we are coming up on... 137 track miles to Luxembourg. And we are quite high, keep that in mind. So Actually, what we'll do at because um, we do have some tailwind. So at uh, track miles one two seven, we will initiate our descent. There we go. And um, sorry, at the track miles one two seven, we will initiate our descent using uh, vertical. Speed. Um, I'll wait a little longer actually. Sixteen, my tail went. I 
perhaps there may, might be the Ryanair going down. To oh no, maybe that's the two. Actually, yeah. So it seems to have frozen up somehow. Again. So yeah, it's asking for a descent now. So we'll. Let VNAV initiate it. Go to 250. There we go, that fixed it. So he is at. Yeah. That's the descent. Just review this map here. And we have plenty of runway coming in at 06. Yeah, so we'll keep it at 2. Off. A little bit of lag loading all the lights. So. A lot of lag now. Coming back up now. So that's Remba. We have loaded here. What we'll do is that we will prepare for a general. On profile, on speed. One hour and four minutes. And we can see it, people. There's the Tui climbing out from from below. So Twenty miles out. There is.
can do this as well. I'll just uh So we'll just revisit again here. Still correct. Latest Q and H. And still current. There's a lot of London stuff going on in this here. Yeah. So basically all clear on the descent. And looking good. So the the waypoint names are just coming in thick and fast. Uh, uh, next up is uh, Retux and then Dick, uh, where we'll need to be at 240. So we'll need to lose roughly 4,000 feet in 10 miles while also losing um, What we could do actually is uh, just a bit of uh, magic here, just to buy ourselves some more room. Just slow down on our way into the dick. Ten. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. So missed approach. Climb three thousand to ELU NDB, and that's runway heading. And then turn left to Dick and climb four thousand back for new approach so basically up here and if we are unstable we will do that this time so that's it few clouds there out of them again so nothing that needs anti-ice tat seven. Zooming in a little. We engage we now. We have bought ourselves all the altitude we need. Puts us a little low. So the issue with VNAV actually might be that it will slow us down now. So much so that it will catch up to the profile, I think. So that was an error. Uh, should have waited to retax, but we will just route direct to Dick. That fixes it. Oh, 
few clouds here actually, so not don't think it's anything that we have our tat 12 now, so should be good. In Luxembourg now. Coming in up here somewhere, there we are. On this one. No way to see no traffic, so what we'll do is um, send out this and just a little less check here. It's still correct. Set and set, and we can do our checklist for the set. There's the airport loaded in nicely over there. Pressure station is set, recall is checked, auto brake 2, landing reverse is 143, minimums are set 1357, and approach briefing is completed. This set checklist is completed. Okay, so next turn will be for um, CF001, we would normally be getting, I think, a, uh, actually we won't because there are some, yeah, I think there are some uh, good reasons why we are put in here at Dick. Transition altitude 4005. Still on profile, now we have to lose. Yeah. Need to be a 7 7 by Dick, and we will bust that for sure. Asking for drag to, to reach that. So we'll just monitor it for now and put up the flaps early if need be. It's 21 miles to go to get down to 180. Just a turn. 97. Stuck there in a the lag spike, so put that back down. Nine seven set. And racing towards our fake waypoint, so we need to really slow down before we reach it because we won't be over speeding when we're turning. Still a tad fast, we could just give it a little bit of speed break, leave it there. So we would preferably be uh, configured flaps 5 at around here at least. Had more speed break. What we'll actually do is perhaps one.
let the speed brake do all the work. Pull out flaps too as well. It should really slow us down. Slowly stow the speed brake, see what happens here. Should be fine now. dropping nicely now. So we were a bit aggressive on killing our speed there, but now we can go local q h now, since there's a big pressure difference. Uh, and we will kill this one that looks empty there, so no need for this. Go behind here. Okay, so we go flaps fire. Still no localizer capture, 109.9, 109.9 is set, so just wait for that. Let's see if we can... Echo, Lima, Lima, X-ray, airport information, Romeo, 1920, Zulu, weather, wind, 067 at localized. 6, visibility, 10,000, sky clear, temperature 2, 4, dew point 8, QNH, 1023, advice on initial contact, you have information, Romeo. So, we're going to go flaps 15. Echo, Lima, Lima, X-ray, airport. And we are correctly set, so perhaps 15. No real terrain to be seen. There comes our turn to the final. Pop the gear down in the turn. Thousand to go. Imagine that we are cleared. We can pop the logo on as well. There we come on. Twenty five hundred. So according, there's something with the terrain here that bothers me. Either we have some big rock above or below us, or... Seven miles out, seeing all red. Might be some terrain issues, we'll just uh, monitor it for now. But it actually looks okay, so it might be some terrain we're passing over here. Maybe that castle we read about, I don't know. We really should be barreling down us, so now we have one white, so it's looking good. And flaps 30, landing flap set, landing checklist if we could see it, and you start the switch is continuous, speed brake is armed, 
plan to get down. Green light flaps, so I already said. Clear to land, cabin is secure, runway zero, 06. So there's, there's the altitude correct. So we do have some very high terrain just below us here. It's the radial altimeter really is. Uh, Disconnecting now. Manual flight. Uh, controls. One thousand. Approaching. Thousand Zero. Feet stabilized, six. Mr. Perch altitude set. Tad high, correcting, all oh, fine. Five hundred. Four hundred. Approaching minimums. Three hundred. Curved one Minimums. Way. Very curved. Two hundred. Very curved, actually. One hundred. So it will be coming up. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Welcome to Luxembourg, ladies and gentlemen. Turning off this. So our lost count on which country we are up to now. But welcome to mainland Europe. We'll be staying here for a good while. And uh, it was a very uh, nice flight actually. Looks good, the scenery here as well. From TDD I believe. I'm not sure, it could be from someone else, maybe it's from some French guy, I don't know. But uh, Luxembourg it is, nonetheless, and uh, everything is looking really good here. So, we're cleaning up. Got to set the mist approach correctly, but that's what happens. So all we need to do now is find a stand and a call it a day. We finished with the UK and Ireland and uh, I think we need to take one of these stands here. So we'll take this one here I think. Correct, I'm not sure. And I think we'll just park it here. Actually. Yeah, we're definitely not parked correctly, I think. Anywho, that's good enough for us. So we will just say stop. And Set the jacks, connect the GPU, no power on, and get some light on. Kill the engines. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it in one piece to Luxembourg. So, that was a quite decent flight with good ATC for over half of the 
path of the flight. And uh, good landing. I got a bit confused with the altimeters there. I don't know why, why I was th what I was thinking about there, but nonetheless, we managed quite well. So you can go to off. And kill the squawk. There we go. So I think we'll leave it at that and we can turn this one off and we can look at the all important landing rate as always. So let's just get some move we are going. And grab this one. Oops. Did we get A to C <laughs> Justin? Yeah we did, we got A to C just a tad too late. What a shame. Bummer. Well, you can't win them all. Anyway, landing rate. So here we are, 55 feet. Perfect. That's <laughs> that's actually too soft. But I think that's what they call butter, so we can complete that. That's a big float. Well, there's our journey all the way from Dublin to Luxembourg in Luxembourg. <laughs> I think the name and the country is the same. So we will terminate the flight lake and don't think there's no need to look at the parking, we can do that, but wasn't really any guidance. I think we need to move it for our departure. Yeah, really off. So let's just go and check out the rest of the airport here. Uh, not too good, uh, the aircraft, the static ones, not too good looking. It looks like we actually have some gates over here. Of sorts. Is that gate guidance? I don't think so. No. No gate guidance, I think, here. So let me just take a look here. Luxembourg. Fintel. Antel, it says. Okay. So maybe it should have been actually on this apron here, I think. Yeah. yeah there ev there's even gates here, so should definitely have. Yeah, this is where we should have been. There's even uh, marshals and everything, so so we <laughs> kind of taxied the wrong way, but that's what happens. We will uh, position us there for our departure for sure. So thank you for flying uh, with me to Luxembourg on our EU Union tour. We are in mainland Europe and next up I think will be uh, France and uh, Nice Côte d'Azur. In the south of France, by the Mediterranean, that will be our way of heading south and starting on the southern part of the European Union. For now, I am checking up. Thank you for flying with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like and to share. Thank you and have a good night.